Hey guys, DJ here with another video. And a lot of y'all been asking me about what are my settings and keybinds in the game. So I got y'all with this video and let's get right into it. Now you wanna start by putting it on full screen mode for your display. If you have it on windowed full screen, your frames are gonna drop. You can tell you it right here in the description of it. And honestly, putting it on full screen has helped my FPS so much. And when you're on windowed, it locks you into 1920 by 180. And that's that's gonna drop FPS a lot. Honestly, changing these two settings right here, if you put it on 1600 by 900, these two are gonna have your frame going on crisp. And my frame rate, I got it on 165 because that's the refresh on my monitor. Your brightness, I just have mine at 90. And no, I don't use any color bond mode. For my graphics, I just have 3D resolution on 100. And you don't need any of these extra settings, they're extra. I do have my textures on high, but that's only to make the game look better. You can turn anti on medium if you want the game to look really crisp, but I just recommend turning it off. And you want to turn VSync off. I would never recommend having that on. Turn motion blur off. That's only for montages. You know, you can show your FPS. I am on the Rec X11 and I'm using multi-threading, but that's only because my computer can handle that. If you don't have a computer that has more than six cores, four cores, you want to turn that off. Nvidia Reflex, low latency. You want to turn that on plus boost. This is going to have your frames on, on point. And you want, I used to use DLS, but I just turned it off because honestly it doesn't work as good as it used to. I'm going to have Sprint by default on and Auto Open Doors. I use the consumables to the right. And I, yeah, turbo building reset, building choice, confirm on, edit on release. All these are good settings. Not everyone likes confirm edit on release, but I do. And tap to search. Honestly, these are the most important ones on this page. And my sensitivity. I will show my DPS on screen now, but I use 9.5 on both X and Y. Use my target on 30 and my scope on 50. The targeting scope is like when you're ADSing, and scope is for like snipers when you're using snipers. And my keybinds, do use WASD, space to jump, auto run. Don't need a sprint button because we have auto sprint. And left control for crouching. My reload is B. I hit that with my thumb. I now use like my pickup button is F. It used to be E, but F just seems better. Cause it used to be my active button. My harvesting tool, I use that on my mouse. I flick my mouse to the left with my metal finger. And I'll show a picture on screen. It's just cause I use the Logitech G502. Weapon slot one, I use that for my shotgun, scroll up, Q for SMG, and L, I hit that to the right on the scroll wheel, and that's how I bring on my AR. C is for like snipers in slot four, and slot five, those are heels. Now I use the two thumb mouse buttons, and if you don't have a mouse that has thumb buttons, y'all honestly should just go get one for real, real. Cause I used to use my floor where my wall is now, where I put that to V and I hit that with my thumb. And R for roof is right next to my egg button, that's E. So I can just put a roof and edit real fast. You don't gotta worry about trap or anything. I did use scroll wheel reset, so when I scroll down, it'll just reset the build. 
and yeah, I changed my edit button to E. And all of these extra ones don't really matter. Except for, I do use caps lock for my inventory and tab for my map. And the rest of the ones after this don't really matter. It's just for cars and helicopters that are no longer in the game. So I'm just gonna scroll through this real fast. And yeah, that's it for my sentence. If you enjoyed the video, please consider dropping a like and a sub. Helps out the channel as we're doing more videos every day. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.